the 2021 school year is upon us and we can't wait to welcome our students back. While this year promises to be unlike any other, one thing remains the same. We are committed to our students' well-being, learning, and growth. Over the past several months, FCPS teachers have been hard at work learning new instructional strategies and designing high-quality learning experiences for our students. In fact, from just April to July, teachers completed 19,653 hours of professional learning. These dedicated educators continue to go above and beyond for our students. Because teaching and learning in a virtual environment will look different than typical instruction, we thought we'd take a closer look to help us all understand it better. We'll start by breaking down virtual learning into two categories, synchronous and asynchronous. First, let's define these two types of learning. Synchronous occurs when the student and teacher are in the same place at the same time. In a synchronous learning environment, students can access content, resources, and activities at a specific time and location. Asynchronous occurs at different times and when the student and teacher are in different places. In an asynchronous learning environment, Students can access content, resources, and activities at any time and from anywhere. Put simply, synchronous learning is live learning, and asynchronous learning is on-demand learning. Let's break it down further by identifying some examples and benefits of each. Examples of synchronous learning experiences include video conferencing using platforms such as Google Meet and Blackboard Collaborate, collaborative breakout sessions, live teacher-led direct instruction, interactive discussions, shared collaborative documents, and office hours. There are many benefits of synchronous learning. Students can ask questions in real time. Students have access to the teacher and their peers while completing assignments and tasks. Students can receive immediate feedback. The student's experience is interactive and dynamic. Examples of asynchronous learning experiences include watching a pre-recorded video lesson or presentation, pausing as needed, followed by application, creation, practice, reflection, etc. Contributing to a discussion board, building a project or practicing a skill, creating multimedia products such as a video or presentation, creating physical products, writing a response or paper, reading a book or passage, completing a paper pencil activity, reflecting on feedback. And for our younger learners, accessing Waterford, Imagine Learning, or Lexia to build math, reading, and or language arts skills. Just like synchronous learning, asynchronous learning has many benefits. Students have time to review or go slower for more difficult concepts. Students have an opportunity to apply, create, and practice. Students have more time to reflect on what they learned and process their new learning. Some students may feel more comfortable interacting with their teacher or peers when they have time to think and compose a response. FCPS teachers will design and deliver instruction that skillfully and intentionally combines both synchronous and asynchronous learning approaches. Here's to a great school year. We know it will not be perfect in fact, we anticipate many bumps along the way, but we are confident that by working together, we can ensure our students continue to learn and grow.